Unfortunately, the day ended in failure. It's safe to say that Kimiko isn't one of your classmates. That still leaves May as a suspect, but I think it's unlikely after what happened yesterday. There's still one possibility though. What about Shiki? What the... You're suspecting? Oh god. Excuse me? If you have May on the list of unlikely suspects, Shiki must be there too. I would know if my own sister was a psychopath. <laughs> oh god. Uh, actually, that's true. Not, I, I'm starting to suspect Shiki a bit. It's not like I suspect Shiki, but we can't overlook anyone. I thought you had to consider every possibility. Fine. Although that doesn't leave us with any plausible suspect. What now then? You must have let your identity out by mistake. I'm always careful. Anyone can sleep up. Does that really help us? I don't know. Try to think of any time when you might have exposed your secret. I'll try thanks, Tatsumi. She shakes her head. Just doing my job. Is there any nothing more than a job to her? The more I get to know her, the more I wonder. Yep, she's always just the case here, the case there and all this. Alright, we are back into the room. Something bad might happen. Who knows? Let's find out. That night, I lie away in bed. I can't sleep. Did I really expose my own secret? How could I be so careless? When could it have happened? Alright. Kimiko has written, maybe? Of course, there's one person who knows exactly how Kimiko found out. Kimiko herself. My thoughts drift to her more and more. Kimiko is so fixated on her goal. I wish I understood what made her do this. Is she just an evil person? I don't think so. I think Kimiko has been constantly warning about the danger and all this. Uh, who knows? Let's see how it ends. The more I think about her, the more sympathetic I feel. It would be ironic if somehow <laughs> me, the main character, <laughs> be with Kimiko in the end. Oh, that would be crazy. No deep, no deep down, I think she's just hurting. If things were different, maybe we... Yep, I glance at my phone. If I text Kimiko, she will probably respond. Hey, wait, I just realized that I haven't chat with Yuta for a really long time. I think it's time maybe I would give her, give him a call or something like that later on. What should I do? Yep, text her. Why not? But this is a really risky move and pretty awkward. At the same time, I feel like a moth being drawn to a flame. Why did you try to kill me? Oh no, God. It always scares me how quickly she is to reply. That girl, she's a problem. She spends too much time with you. She turned you against me. No, that's not true. Please don't hurt anyone. If you come to me, I won't have to. Why do you believe we belong together? After everything I have done to you, to get away from you, don't you see things differently? You're the one who cares about me. Even now, you care enough to talk to me. Oh god. Ah, uh, oh, was this a mistake? Nevertheless, I can't deny the urge. I have. I had to contact her. What about your family? They don't care. I wasn't wanted. Oh, I see. No wonder she is so stuffed for affection. But you, you care. Oh god. Maybe deep down, a part of me does. I run, but I keep thinking about her. Do I feel guilty? I would help you, but what... But what you're doing is wrong. Wrong? Did I finally get through to her? Oh no. Yes, please don't hurt anyone anymore. Please. I won't once we're together. Oh god. Without you, I'm lost. I sigh and put the phone down. Does she really want to be with me that badly? She seems so sad and I'm the only person that can save her? Oh god. Actually, it depends. The thoughts of Kimiko haunt me all night long. Alright. Back over the next few days, I tried to think of when I could have messed up. Nothing comes to mind. I don't get it. What am I missing? We're out of leads. It's getting late, but I'm not really ready to sleep yet. Yep, every time I've fallen asleep over the past few days, I have dreamt of Kimiko. Just the profile picture that I've got. Sometimes they are nightmares, other times I'm not sure. We need to finish this soon. Now that I'm no longer going to class, being stuck inside is getting to me. Yep, oh, that's, that, it, it pretty much makes sense since, he's not, since I'm not going to class. 
I sigh and lean my head back against the couch cushion. When will this end? Shaky, um, I jump and open my eyes. I didn't realize you were there. Sorry. It's fine, what's up? Shiki takes a deep breath and steps towards me. There's a fire in her eyes. I haven't seen seen, seen since the day of the competition. I've been thinking. You have shown me that I need to speak my mind. So I want to tell you, stand up for myself more. I want to say what I'm thinking. That's great. I have to hear what she's, she wants to say. And I'm ready to invest my gems on her f for this round. And it's thanks to me that I'm, she feels this way. I'm glad I was able to help. I didn't know my opinion meant that much to her. And um, one of those things is she blushes and I wait patiently for her to finish. She's struggling to get these words out. What could it be? I am. Um, I'm really attracted to you. Oh god. Oh no. Maybe so. Maybe this is. Maybe this is chemical. What? Did Shiki just confess her feelings towards me? Shy. Quite Shiki. I had pounds. It's no secret that a lot of guys like Shiki, but she she never really shown interest in anyone. I stand up and look into her eyes. I had no ideas. My face is hot. Even with all the this chaos, somehow I feel incredibly incredibly lucky sorry for hiding it oh god all right but i couldn't hold it anymore not after your advice she finally found the courage to say wait wait what do you mean not after your advice the advice the advice that i gave kimiko is she kimiko oh god not again she looks even more gorgeous than usual right now my heart hammers in my chest she is standing so close i can feel the warm of her skin she looks up at me as if expecting something I'm so flustered I can't form words. I can't leave her hanging. What should I do? Uh alright alright. Uh, let's let's go for the first one since I uh, like I said I'm trying to invest this. Okay, let's see how it will end. Okay, at the same time only one reaction makes sense. Okay, shit I think. May is going to kill me. Oh so oh god. Not just May. I I'm not sure who is chemical. That that woman is also going to kill me and also not to mention the <laughs> the detective that touched me, okay? My heart is hammering so much I can barely breathe. I never thought Shaky would confess feelings, especially how quiet she is. She's rarely voiced her feelings at all. So for her to tell me this. Okay, next round I will invest my gems in Tatsumi. Then let's play like a a, a cycle, okay? Um Tatsumi, then Mei, then Shiki again. Just keep doing like this, but in the meantime, I have to keep generating more um this diamonds first. Okay, let's continue. She must really felt that strongly about this. I reach out and couple face gently. She gaps, closing her eye. Okay, I'm so flattered to know how you feel. Okay, I care about you a lot too. Okay, oh no, I think May is going to kill me. Promise. Before I always saw her as just quite who already spoke. Okay, I have too much thoughts. Can we just please move on? Now I've seen so many different sides of her. Wondering beautiful face to her personality that I never expect to see. She able to speak her mind more than ever too. Oh no. Okay, okay. Great. She relaxed against me, although she doesn't quite, you know, she puts her arm, okay, you know, some cheesy stuff. Is this what you want? Yes. Okay. Alright. Oh no. I never thought. I thought back when I realized she is speaking softly almost to herself. I never thought I would be. Oh, I see. Why not? Always, okay, okay, yep, you don't give en yourself enough credit. Maybe, besides this is because of you. Alright, you took the initiative. And it's attractive too that she can be reserved, but still, oh uh, yeah, okay, great, great, she has grown a lot. I had to, I couldn't stand not saying anything. I'm glad you did. She looked at me, her eyes are warm and innocent, do you think this can last? What, what, what? Seriously, I'm really asking what do you mean? <laughs> Living together, being in danger, they make people feel differently. I see, you're wondering if we we'll still feel this way once we are no longer hiding from chemical? She nods. Well, that means there's only one thing to do. Hmm. We need to end this quickly so we can give each other a proper answer. Yes, please. Don't worry. I'll make sure I have an answer for you soon. Oh, God. Actually, especially... After how brave you were to admit your own feelings, my feelings are stronger. Oh no, I just realized that um, when you use this kind of premium move on a really um, 
intense occasion or this kind of situation, you will have like things are really going out of hand. As you can see, I've been talking so much and non-stop this about this feeling and all this. The buzz on my phone pulls my attention away from Shiki. A text message? I grab my phone. Please report to the admin building immediately to discuss a matter related to your classes and upcoming exam. The campus admin. I thought someone was reporting me or something like that. Oh, you. Huh? My heart leaps into a throat. Have I missed so many classes that I'm in trouble? What's wrong? A message from the university saying I need to check in about something at the M building. You should tell Tatsumi, right? Could you go get her? Shiki nods and leaves the room. It looks official, but I don't know the number. If I'm wrong, it could be a big problem. What's going on? I show Tatsumi the text. It sounds suspicious. I know, but what if it's legitimate? I can't ignore that. Then we'll go together. All of us? All of us. All right. Five minutes later, the four of us leave the safe house together. I don't understand why we are all, why you all have to go. Kimiko is waiting to queue. No one should be left alone. But, yep, Mace, I think it's what? It's Kabloom. Whoa, that's crazy. The rest of her protest is lost as an explosion shakes our hideout. Oh god, okay. The whole building goes up in flame. An explosion? Is this Kimiko doing? Did she hope to lure me out alone? Oh no. How did, but how did she find our hideout? What are we going to do now? Find out next.